Well, hello, I'm uh, Pastor Zell at uh, First Angeles Lutheran Church in Mishawaka, and I would like to read to you a story uh, about uh, God creating the world. It's a Bible story. It's found in uh, Genesis, the, book, the first book of the Bible. It says, A long, long time ago, before God made our world, everything was dark and empty. Then God said, Let there be light. And light burst into the darkness. The next day, God made the bright blue sky. On the third day, God made the land and the seas, and all kinds of plants and trees. Can you find all those things in the pictures? Everything God made was good. <clears throat> On the fourth day, God put lights in the sky. God put the bright sun in the sky for daytime. Then God made the moon and the stars to twinkle in the sky during the night. And God saw that the sun, moon, and the stars were good. <clears throat> Guess what God made on the fifth day? God made birds to fly high in the sky and fish to swim and skim through the water. How many different kinds of fish can you find in the water? On the sixth day, God made lots more animals to live on the land. How many can you find? God saw that all the animals were good. There's lots and lots in our picture here. Above the land and then also below in the sea. <clears throat> On the sixth day, <clears throat> Excuse me. On the sixth day, God also created a man and a woman. Adam and Eve were the very first people in our world. Then God looked at everything he'd made and saw that it was very good. God made a beautiful garden for Adam and Eve to live in. And God told Adam and Eve they would eat fruit from all the trees in the garden, except one. Oh my, look at that. There's Adam, and then there's Eve. There's some of the other animals. They're all together. <clears throat> one day a snake, oh boy, there he is. One day a snake tricked Eve into eating fruit from that special tree. Then Adam ate some too. Because they disobeyed, God made Adam and Eve leave the garden. But God still loved them and watched over them. And that's a great lesson for us because we learned that God does love us. And sometimes when we disappoint him, we do disappoint him, but he still continues to love us. God filled our world with many beautiful things. God wants us to enjoy the wonderful world he's made. God also wants us to help take care of our world. What's one thing you can do to take care of God's beautiful world? That's a good thing to talk about. Right. 
Well, I'd like to close with a brief prayer. Please pray with me. Lord God, thank you very much for this beautiful, beautiful world that you have given to us. The birds and the trees, the green grass, we thank you for the mountains and the lakes and the ponds. We thank you for the frogs and the tadpoles. And Lord, we thank you that you have created us. Help us always to cherish your gift of creation. And Lord, hear the words that Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Well, until next time, bye-bye.